Oh hey folks, how's it going today? R&D Diesel back, and if you guys keep up my channel, you know I've actually already done some of these before, and that's I've already placed my glow plugs in the past. But you can see I'm doing it again. You know, guys, I realized I had so much fun doing it the first time. I thought, what the heck? I'll do it again. No, not really. Well, it turns out, folks, the glow plugs that I actually put in—if you watch that video where I replaced my glow plugs—you'll see the glow plugs I put in actually came in little white boxes. That's a big no-no. The only glow plugs that you should ever put inside your 7.3 engine look just like this, okay? These are Ford Motorcraft brand. They are ZD11 glow plugs, and they say Beru Germany on the side. These are the OEM manufactured glow plugs. They're pretty much the only ones that you should put in. The reason I say this is because the old ones I had actually burned out in about two months, and... You know, I thought when originally when I bought them that I had bought Motorcrafts, and you know, I didn't think anything of the fact they were white, white boxes. So I don't know if shipping got messed up or if I just got scammed. I don't know. All I know is I basically had seventy dollars and just went right down the drain. So I picked these glow plugs up from Riff Raff Diesel online for I want to say they're about ten dollars a piece. They're a little on the pricey side, but hopefully these will last a lot longer than the ones that I just had in here. You guys, if you have some that come in white box, you might as well just throw them away. Or take your money and throw it in the trash instead of buying them. It's really, it'll save you lots of time. Once I hate to say that, that's basically the way it goes for whatever reason. Now, there is a risk too that if you buy some cheap glow plugs, especially I've heard auto lights and things of that sort, the tip on them will actually swell up and it can actually break off inside of your cylinder head, which means that you have to pull the cylinder head off to pull out the glow plugs. Now, fortunately, the glow plugs that I am pulling out didn't have a sort of any sort of a swelling problem, but the motorcrafts are high quality, and you shouldn't have to worry about that at all. So until something better comes along, stick with the motorcraft, guys. But in the meantime, that you can't get your truck to start because your glow plugs are shot, well, I do have this cool trick for you guys that you can use to start your truck even whenever it's cold. Now, this method is an old trucker's trick. Basically, you just shove a bunch of rags in an aerosol can in the exhaust, and it creates tons of back pressure. And the idea behind that is it keeps the heat in, and it also and that allows your truck to start whenever it's a lot colder outside. Now I've successfully used this method down to about 45 degrees Fahrenheit so I've never tried anything lower than that just because you know down here south it doesn't really get all that cold but you know it's still probably best to actually replace your glow plugs at some point or another because well you want your truck to start even when it's colder than that and you want to be reliable and that's kind of the whole idea behind working on our trucks. So I hope you all enjoy this trick and hopefully it helps you out. Hey folks, how's it going today? It's a little bit cold outside. It's about in the mid 40s, so you know, for down south here, it's pretty cold. And you can see that right here is my engine oil temperature. It's a little over 51 degrees Fahrenheit. And right now, I don't have any operable glow plugs. I've actually completely disconnected the glow plug controller just because I've got really, I made a mistake of putting in cheap glow plugs unwittingly whenever I replaced them back a while ago. And so I'm challenged with trying to start this truck when it's cold outside and it could really use the glow plugs. So I'm going to show you guys this neat trick that I found that seems to work pretty well. Let me show you. Okay, and just so we're all clear here, this is the glow plug control wire for the controller. It's completely disconnected, so my glow plugs are not active at all. So this is going to be starting base. It's really going to be starting completely without glow plugs. All right, guys, first off, I'm going to try starting it without glow plugs, without doing anything. I'm just going to try starting it right now without doing anything else to the truck. So we'll see. Okay, so very clearly there you can see that this sucker doesn't want to start. So let me show you all the trick. Okay, so this is about as crazy it gets. I'm literally taking a old aerosol can and some rags and I'm stuffing it in the exhaust. And what the idea here is that I can create tons of back pressure and then it'll keep a lot of the heat inside the engine and so hopefully help it start. Alright. So what's going to happen here is, I'm going to move the camera back because usually this aerosol can comes flying out, but the idea here is I'm going to crank it over for a little while and then it's going to build up heat, I'm going to stop, I'm going to wait a couple seconds, let it heat soak everything, then try it again and it should fire right up. You'll see.
that's how you start trucking without using any ether or anything like that. Well, certainly, I've heard seen a lot of people use ether. You guys, I've heard that's really bad for your engine. If you have any glow plugs active, what that can do is ether will actually detonate the cylinder. It can actually crack a piston or break some rings. Terrible. Don't use ether. Uh, it's just, I've heard a terrible thing to do, and I've seen a 7.3 destroyed before because ether is shot to it. Hope to see you all out in the meantime until you can get your glow plugs fixed. And like I said, it's a really cool trick and kind of kind of fun. Pretty neat that you can start a truck this cold without any glow plugs or anything of that sort.